finding the calendar on the front end of your site is very easy, and that's what I'm going to walk you through in this portion of our The Events Calendar new user primer. We have dotted links to the front end calendar all over the back end of the plugin. There's more and more with each release, and so you're not going to have any trouble getting to the calendar when you get stuck. This is going to be a real brief screencast. One thing that you should keep in mind right off the bat is that I'm approaching this with the expectation that you do have a pretty permalink structure enabled. The plugin will work to a certain degree with default permalinks, but it's not going to work nearly as seamlessly as those sites that are running a pretty permalink structure like Postname. So to make matters easier on yourselves, to make it a smoother experience for your end users, you probably should turn on pretty permalinks unless you have a compelling reason not to. To that same end, with pretty permalinks enabled, the calendar is always going to live out of the box at site URL slash events. That's what we have configured under settings, and as we saw this in one of our earlier screencasts, we come down into the general settings area, we have this events URL slug. That defaults out of the box to events, which means that if I were to go to my URL, which is pro.tribe slash events on the front end, that's where my calendar is going to live. If you haven't made a change here and have never changed this from the default events URL slug, you can guarantee that all you have to do is go to site URL slash events and you'll land on your calendar. So you won't even have to click through to a link because you'll know it right off the bat. But if you do need a link, this lands us on our first one of those links, which is right here. Notice it says what your current events URL is, gives you a hot link over to pro.tribe slash events. And if I click it, it's going to take me to my calendar. So that's one. Two, if I scroll back up to the very top of this same page, I have this where's my calendar option. Well, it's right here. Click through to that, takes me to the slash events page. Number three is up here in this events admin bar. View calendar. Click it, takes me to slash events. And number four is here in the plugins list. Find your install of the events calendar when it's activated. Go over here to this fourth option on the right, calendar, takes you to slash events. So that's four that we explored in a matter of, what, a minute? And it should be obvious to you that there's, all, there's links all over the place. It shouldn't have any problem finding them. And when you need to get to the front end calendar, chances are it's just going to be at slash events. Either way, probably easiest one is this one up here in the admin bar because it's going to show on any page that you're at. But for you as a site administrator, the flow that you're going to get into is going to be something you decide. Just wanted to clear that up because it's been a point of confusion for users in the past. Let's keep going. I'll see you in the next portion of our new user primer for Modern Tribes, the events calendar.